nights and time to come, what do those stones mean to you? Yes. And you shall tell them yes. that the waters of the Jordan were cut off before the ark of the covenant of the Lord. And when it passed over the Jordan, the waters of the Jordan were cut off. So these stones shall be to the people of Israel a memorial forever. <laughs> Having been given, Pastor B.J., the ultimate honor of being uh, one of your senior advisors and one of your ministerial mentors, I want you to know it has been very serious and very personal as I have often tried to chime in on the providential path and purpose that God has for his pastor and his people in Calvary. Today is a major, monumental, milestone moment in every regard. And I decided I want this to be different because I want y'all, there's a lot of things that are going to happen today. There are a lot of numbers that are out there that make a lot more sense than you realize. And so every now and then when I start to teach the text, I may accidentally uh, insert BJ for Joshua, or Apostle for Joshua, Dr. Ware, or Minister James here, uh, for, 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 so, so just stay with me because we're going somewhere. I said the numbers are so important for the mental mindset for pastor and people. So I need everybody to just buckle up because we're going to have a fight that's about to go forward. Now, now I want us to look at this. First, let's look at the numbers. Uh, it says 15 years in ministry, six years in pastoring. Now, when you look at 15 and you add six, numerically and mathematically, that comes out to equal 21. Mm -hmm. Come on. Now, 21 is the age that is looked upon as being legally grown. Well, come on, say amen, somebody. And at this time, at this time, it is believed that when you reach 21 in this life, it is believed that graduation has taken place at every preceding level. Uh -huh. It is believed that you have graduated from infancy. Uh -huh. You have graduated from childhood. You have graduated from preteen, adolescent, teenage, and now you're about finally going through 40 years, going around in circles. 40 years just going around and coming back to the same situation. I'm excited about finally punching in and getting my boarding pass to the crossover. But, but, but God in flood season? Come on, say that somebody. That's just not the ideal time to cross over the chart in flood season. It's the most dangerous time, y'all. Because that's the time that you're likely to drown. Yeah. That's the time you're likely to go under. That's the time you're likely to get stuck. That's the time that your human capacity and your human capability and your human ingenuity, that's the time that all of that doesn't mean anything. But, but the one thing I like about it, it's also the time that you can shout because of the supernatural subliminal that's working beneath the surface. Preach, Pastor, and you got to all by yourself. And one reason I can shout, because I learned in my life that God does some of his best work yeah. in flood season. All right. You know flood season, when the waters of the world, yeah. pastors, y'all know about this. You out there, you struggling, and every time you look up, somebody telling you why they can't come to church. You know, uh, uh, my, 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 I think my toe gonna hurt next Sunday. You know, come on, say to me somebody. I'll be there, it depends on how I look outside. It depends on how I feel. I, I just feel like if God wake you up, you ought to be willing to get it. Am I talking to somebody? I, I just feel like if you wake up with breath in your body, activity of your limbs, you can see, you can feel. I wish I had some help up in here. If God thinks enough of me as bad as we've been to pick me up and wake me up, at least I can get up and say, I will bless the Lord at all times. And his praise shall come. Can I preach up in Lord, help me. Flood season. Waters and waves and waves. Pastors, y'all know we always come with more month 
than money. And, and, and folk don't understand that when they go on vacation in the summer, Aaron don't care. Preach, preacher. Yes, this is a doctor where uh, we just call it because uh, our members went on vacation and, uh, and they didn't do what they're supposed to. They said, well, Dr. Ware, we understand that. And he said, uh, I, I hope that your windows let up <laughs> in your church. Come on, say it again, somebody. <laughs> so, 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 in flood season, a lot of times it feels like mission impossible. But I want you to know, Pastor BJ and other pastors in Calvary, that God makes it and he allows it and he permits it to be hard so that we would know that nobody but him is the source of every need. Say amen, somebody. So you see, what, what messed me up about this text is flood season when God blows them out the water, so to speak. It's very similar to when the Red Sea was crossed. And y'all remember the Red Sea experience? You know, you know, you had crazy Pharaoh. First of all, I said, let us go. You said no, then you said yes, then you said no, then you said yes, then, and then, and, and then you just let us go. Yeah. Then when we go, you feel like you ain't got nobody to do the work. Here you come rushing behind us. And you saw that crazy, that crazy. Here you got you, you got Pharaoh, you got Pharaoh, you got Red Sea, you got mountains, mountains, Pharaoh, Red Sea, mountains, mountains, Pharaoh, Red Sea, mountains, mountains, Pharaoh, Red Sea. And they knew that it had to be something supernatural. Because now they're in a catch-22, uh -huh. or what I would call a crazy conundrum. Well, say uh -huh. yeah. And they know the only way out is God showing up and making a way supernatural. Uh -huh. So I don't know who this is for, but five or ten folks, this is for you. I need you to know if you're tracking this, come on, say amen. If you're in flood season today, don't you get frustrated. Don't you get flustered. Don't you give up. Bible. 
Bible says that they crossed over on dry land. Yeah. This flood season. Yeah. Come on, say it's yeah, it. Not wet land, but because God did it, Bishop, uh -huh. dry land. Yeah. Where they could walk over, yeah. not get stuck. Because uh -huh. we still need to roll our wheelbarrows with our keyboards and our and our drums and our and, 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 and our bass guitar. And, and so we can't get stuck. So so God has to do a double miracle. Not only does he have to dry it up, but he has to dry it so they don't get stuck because when you take water off of dirt, you got mud. But there is a molecular, help me, there's a molecular 